Good evening, Bowman Band. Um, we want to send out a virtual option of our yearly parent meeting uh, for any parents who couldn't come. So this is what it is. Uh, welcome to our virtual parent meeting. My name is Andrew McCraw. I'm Mark Casperson. We're your band directors here at Bowman for 2024-25. It's going to be a really awesome year. If you ever want to contact us, um, here is our phone number. Uh, you can reach us at the same line. Usually the easiest way to reach us, though, is going to be via email. It's the quickest and the fastest. Um, that That's the best way. But you could also reach us um, during normal uh, business hours at this number below. We might be in rehearsal, though, so leave a message. Yes, leave a message. We'll always respond. Email is definitely Email's really good. And if you put both of us on the email, one of us will get back yep. really quick. I uh, wanted to welcome you to the Bowen Band, especially any sixth grade band parents or new move in seventh and eighth graders. Uh, we have over 260 kids um, enrolled in band. We're definitely the largest organization on campus. Uh, we have a lot of fun and we are the one of the largest in all of Plano. We're super excited to have your kid in band. It's it, They are in a really strong program, um, really well trained program, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun events that we want to talk about through the year. As you can see, there's a lot of pictures from years past. Uh, social media. Uh, we're trying to get good at social media. Uh, if you're on Instagram, Bowman, Bowman MS Band and Facebook at Bowman Raider Band. Um, be sure to check us out. Um, give us a like or a follow. Uh, we're always posting pictures and like announcements, especially on the Facebook group. We post announcements, uh, the Instagram sometimes, but it's usually just concert pictures and, you know, fun videos of events we have throughout the year. So definitely, if you're on social media, check us out. Um, we do have some class supplies Mr. C wants to talk about uh, for this. Let's talk about the sixth grade first, I would say. Sixth grade. Um, most of our sixth graders have started showing up with their instruments and their supplies, mm -hmm. and that's great. If you haven't had an opportunity to go get your instrument, please do so soon, because we are at the point where we're going to start splitting the classes back up and um, begin working on instrument specific things. Um, the books, the students will need two books this year for the beginners. They are, we call them the yellow book, which is the habits of a successful middle school musician and the red book standard of excellence. We will be using both of these books this year in class. Um, so please make sure you get both of them. The band fees for this year is $15 for the entire year. This covers clinicians, socials, um, some transportation fees and like um, that is required of all sixth grade band students. And they also will need a black band polo. This is their concert shirt and that is $24.50 and you can pay for that online. And the polos will kind of look like what we've got on with the logo, except they're solid black. That's what we'll wear with the sixth graders. Seventh and eighth grade. Oh, also sixth grade. If you're a percussionist, the one difference, as you can see on this, we have the red book and the yellow book. And Mr. C is showing them now. And they're on the screen. Percussionists, they won't get those. They'll get the purple Wessels. We call it the Wessels book. They'll get the snare drum and mallet version. So that's sixth grade only, but that's very important. So check your supply list. Everyone should have received a supply list. Parents, if you don't have it or you lost it or your kid didn't give it to you, ask the child first. It, probably in their backpack, yep. but if not, send us an email and we we'll can, shoot you over one. We can send you one. Seven, eight grade supplies. Um, a lot of it has not changed over, or it's not anything new from last year, except one book, which is what we call the blue book, which Mr. This C has got. Uh, they need to make sure they have it for their instrument. Eighth graders should have this from last year. Uh, seventh graders, we also use the yellow book still, so double check that they have a working yellow book, and then I, most seventh graders and eighth graders we've seen have started showing up with the yellow and the blue book, which is fantastic. The uh, the band fees, uh, $20 for the year for uh, seventh and eighth grade. They do a few more trips and socials throughout the year where they have a little extra responsibility, extra clinicians that come in with them as they get older. So that is the difference there. Um, band t-shirts, this will be corrected in a second, is $9.50. I forgot to put the 50 cents. The band t-shirt for 2024 seventh and eighth graders, $9.50. That fee can be paid probably starting tomorrow on RICOR. Uh, it should be online. Everything is online this year, and we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, here is the four local music stores that you can find stuff. Uh, Brook Mays, Music and Arts, The Band Connection, and Tarpley Music. Any of them are really good. They're local. I'd probably just find the one that's closest to you. Uh, we highly, highly, highly advise parents of sixth grade students who are new to this, rent to own at the music store. Right. I would not go and buy 
don't buy a super expensive crazy instrument online or at a store rent to own also don't buy don't see a cheap instrument on amazon walmart target anything like that avoid that at all possible mm -hmm. because those brands are not very good it's they're made of poor metals yeah. um they're they're not very well made and they will break very very easily and the music stores won't repair them that, yeah. so then you'll have an instrument that can't be repaired yep um, a good rule of thumb is if it comes with a pair of white gloves, it's probably a bad instrument. Right. Absolutely. And what these music stores do, which is great, um, that when their rental um, agreements and the rental contracts read it, they have a repair um, promise there. All of these stores have expert repairmen on site that will repair all the instruments for free. You get yearly maintenance. If a key falls off a clarinet or a saxophone or the slide bends on a trombone or valves get sticky, mm -hmm. they'll fix it for free as part of your rental agreement. So while that looks like a price that you're paying every month, it is definitely it, worth it. Especially with sixth graders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, fees. There are extra fees. And like we said right here, here's the band t-shirt that is correct. $9.50 for seventh and eighth grade. $24.50 for the polo. Now that is for sixth grade only or any brand new seventh and eighth grade band members. Or if you were in band last year with us and you lost your black polo or you grew a bunch and you need a new one, okay? Uh, seventh and eighth graders, if you still have your black polo, you do not have to buy this polo. We want it to last all three years, if possible. We understand growing and if you need another one and lost it, let us know. But sixth graders need to buy this shirt. Uh, the t-shirt fee will be on Rycor. Um, this week that you could start paying so we can get that going uh the concert polos for sixth graders that will be on rycor probably next month we'll get those orders in band fees again parents uh, sixth grade fifteen dollars twenty dollars to seventh and eighth grade again it's traveling uh socials technology clinicians um really really helps it also helps us get new music for the kids um and other supplies okay um we're really asking that uh, that these fees can get brought in quickly. Um, we definitely understand if there's payment plans that need to be made, but if we can get these in by the middle, I'd say middle of September, probably yeah, next two weeks, the next two weeks would be excellent. Um, let us know if you have any questions, but those fees are on Rycor tonight. If you can get those in, they are there. Um, instrument fee, Mr. C, would you like to talk about this? Now this is for students who have a school instrument like tuba, euphonium, French horn, Trombone, uh, uh, oboe, oboe, oboe bassoon, bassoon, and some instruments that are being borrowed from us. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Um, every school loan instrument has an instrument maintenance fee that is required by the district that's associated with it. It's $85 and it's um, due for the entire year. We'd like to have this paid by within the next two weeks. Okay. Students who rent from the music store do not make this payment. So if you go to the music store to rent like a flute, a clarinet, a trumpet, a saxophone, or a trombone, you are responsible for that, and we don't worry about that. But if you get an instrument from school, it, there is an $85 instrument maintenance fee that is associated with it, and there is also a contract that we like to have signed and returned to our office. We will be passing those forms out to the kids this week, and we would like them returned the next day, the next day. Technically, we're not supposed to let any child use the instruments until their fee is paid and their form has been returned. So please get those fees and forms into us so that we can get these instruments out to the kids so they can use them. Online fees. Now, this is a big change for a lot of people. Plano ISD, this is a Plano ISD change and a Bowman Middle School campus change. They have switched to a completely cashless system. We're no longer allowed to accept cash or check for anything. It, minus the fundraiser, we'll talk about a little bit, but any fees, field trips, anything like that, is online only through Rycor. Um, Rycor is this link right here, studentquickpay.com slash PISD. Studentquickpay.com slash PISD. Um, if you've had library fines in the past or paying lunch money for mm -hmm. the kids or paid for field trips elsewhere online, that's the same system. You can find band fees on there, the t-shirt fees, instrument maintenance fees, Sixth grade has a field trip already listed. The adventure landing trip we'll talk about in a little bit is already listed. Seventh and eighth grade, um, in a few in a week or so, the uh, the Six Flags trip will be listed on there. They can start paying that as well. Okay, we will use Rycor 
all year for the fees. It's super easy to get into. You click the link. It should you should have an account. If not, it'll t you can create one. It ties into your student's ID. All the fees will be in there. OK. Private lessons. Let's talk about private lessons a little bit. Now that we're getting into the school year, um, one of our big initiatives every year is to get as many kids um, doing private lessons as possible. I'm a big believer that, you know, we work really well together and we work really fast. And these mm -hmm. kids like they get really good. Um, but these lessons help supplement their learning and gives kids extra one on one attention that sometimes we can't give if they're in a beginner class of 10 to 20 or in a concert symphonic wind ensemble situation of 50 kids. Uh, sometimes well, we work really fast, but sometimes they're not getting that exact one on one coaching that a private lesson teacher will get. So Plano is awesome and has hired uh, background check, hired professional musicians who play uh, your student's instrument. Um, they work all around the uh, district and other districts. Some play professional, most of them play professionally and other bands and symphonies. Um, they'll come once a week and think of it like a private coach, like a, a batting coach or a pitching coach, um, fitness coach. OK, um, they're definitely we like to call them sometimes personal trainers. They'll come and give them a training session in one of our practice rooms during band class. They don't pull them out of math, science or anything like that. 90% of the time they are during band class, but sometimes it's depending on schedules. They could also come before school or after school, anytime between 730 and 815 or like 345 to 445. We're here and lesson teachers can be in. Highly, highly, highly recommend uh, these lessons. Not required, but definitely, definitely recommended for all these reasons below. Uh, the kids are getting great, great instruction from a world-class musician on their instrument. So um, if at all possible, um, let's get these kids enrolled in lessons. There is um, a cost to them. Like I said, it's supplemental, optional, but um, it's $25 per lesson. Uh, we do have a few scholarships available. We have some other contingency on that. So if, if that's something you're super interested in, um, if financial need is something, don't let that be a reason for you not to do it. Uh, we do that as a case by case basis um, and first come first serve as well. Um, scholarships are limited, uh, but we really would love if you can handle um, if you are willing and able. We really want to get the kids in lessons. Um, if you can, you can pause this video. I also have emailed this um, out a couple days ago. There's a Google form link. It's also in their Google Classroom pages, the private lesson sign up. But you could pause this video scan that QR code and enter the Google form, register for lessons. That lesson teacher will get your information and contact you um, to get going. But really, really recommend. Now, if you did it last year, please refill out the form just so I have your information. If you've already filled out the form, you're good to go. You should um, start hearing from lesson teachers probably at, by the end of next week. They're, you know, schools just started. They're getting their schedules going. I would say if you signed up and you don't hear from a lesson teacher by next Friday, which is the 30th, 30th. if you don't hear anything from a lesson teacher by August 30th, email Mr. McCraw, email me, um, and I will get to the bottom of that and get going. But I don't worry if you haven't heard anything yet. They're still getting their schedules and badges and all that stuff. Here is our lesson staff information. If you want to just, if you know them or if you want to just get going, um, you can contact them here. Um, TBD, we're in the process of getting a new French horn teacher currently, but they will be soon. So if you sign up for horn, it might take a few more days, but that's okay. If you have any questions, you can just email me, but you can pause this video and email it out. All right, Mr. C, do you want to talk about what is different? This is for our sixth graders or sure. now, now seventh graders, because it's a little different now. They're not beginners anymore. So. Okay. So last year they were in individual classes with their like instruments. This year, it's different. They're a part of one of three performing groups, the Wind Ensemble, the Symphonic Band, and the Concert Band. And those are all full performance groups. They're all fully instrumented, um, and they're really performing well. Each band will have more performance opportunities through the year, and will also be doing competitions such as pre-UIL, UIL, Solo and Ensemble, and the Courtyard Festival. The Wind Ensemble also students and some of the Symphonic Band students will have the chance to try out for the all-region bands. Mm -hmm. We highly encourage all of our students to work for that competition because by doing that, they get better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Uh, jazz band. Now, this is another really cool opportunity for our seventh and eighth grade band members. Um, have all, had a lot of interest already. Jazz band is a, I guess, co curricular. It's it's outside of school. We meet um, once a week on Friday mornings, about seven twenty, seven thirty every Friday. Uh, that's going to kick off in September. We're getting getting our bearings still going, but we'll have signups in class. Um, it's open to any instrument, seventh and eighth graders. We've even had orchestra kids join who play bass guitar or play mm -hmm. piano. Um, so if you have friends there, that's really cool. Um, we play a lot of different music. We do jazz. Um, obviously, it's jazz band. Uh, we do um, swing and funk and rock. We do a lot of rock tunes. It's it's a lot of fun. Great introduction to jazz. They don't need any experience with that. As long as they completed beginner band, they can do it. So sixth grade, if you're a current sixth grader, you get to be in jazz band next year, too. Um, we do a lot of extra performances, a couple concerts, festivals. We've done basketball pet band in the spring. We'll look at that again. And um, one thing we added this year, we're going to do a, uh, we're going to go see the Plano East Jazz Band um, in the fall. They have a concert. We're going to um, head over there or meet over there at Pesh and go as a unit there. You get a t-shirt, everything. So interest, if you look at that, we will get that going soon. Uh, Mr. C is going to talk about our fall fundraiser. Now, this is the only one. Now, online is the best credit cards, but mm -hmm. this is one where we might can accept some cash. Right. We will be starting our fall fundraiser probably at the end of this month mm -hmm. um, is our kickoff. And this is a really important fundraiser for us. This is where we receive primarily most of our um, funds for all of the extra things that we do. Um, it is a cookie dough sale. It's a catalog sale. And the cookie dough does come frozen. Um it starts on August 30th and ends on September 13th. So it's over that payday break. Delivery of items is expected at the end of October and donations are always accepted. Please, 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 everyone participate in our fundraiser. We really need you to help us out. Remember, many hands make for light work. So if everybody can do just a little, it all adds up to a lot. Absolutely. Okay, practicing instruments at home. Okay, um, this is primarily for our sixth graders, but seventh and eighth graders, parents, please listen to this too. Um, we're getting the point now, seventh graders are already playing. Sixth graders, pretty quickly, mm -hmm. we're going to start splitting the classes and begin playing instruments. They're going to be making their first sounds in the classroom. It's going to be great. We're going to show them how to put together. Um, pretty quickly after that, they're going to start being told to take their instruments home and practice. This is where you come in as a parent. Please, please, please. And this has happened every year. And this is why I'm saying, it. please um, have grace and patience with your kid. Um, you're going to hear a lot of interesting sounds the first. Mm -hmm. It's not going to sound great. And that's okay. It might be downright funny sounding. Uh, and, it's going to be interesting. You know, but encourage 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 please don't put down your kid or tell them to stop playing because it's too loud and granny's trying to sleep please i we've heard it every year and it really what happens is it discourages the kid it makes them feel bad but then they quit practicing and then they then, fall behind. and then they fall behind they quit progressing and then they don't have as good a time mm -hmm. um if possible find a place for them to practice i still have to practice every day on my instrument my practice room is my closet in my room away from my kids away from my cats and it's quiet it's quiet and it's peaceful it's great um, maybe it's a closet maybe it's the garage maybe it's you know a spare bedroom something um we do have practice rooms here but that's a case by case and sometimes admin doesn't let you know kids come down in the mornings after school so bar none practicing at home is so critical um, we really want them practicing daily, seventh and eighth graders too. Now, seventh and eighth grade parents, same thing. Please encourage your kids. They should also be practicing just because they completed sixth grade band doesn't mean they don't have band homework. There is something for the seventh graders to practice too. Eighth graders, we have a lot of stuff coming up. Practice should be happening daily as, you know, a schedule. We certainly understand other activities, but, you know, if you, if they can be putting in 10, 15 minutes a night, um, or as much as possible during the week that will, they, those kids who practice will get better, will Absolutely. get better. Um, it should be scheduled. I just make it part of my day. Like, okay, I'm going home. Let's have dinner, get some homework done, practice your instrument, 10, 15 minutes. They will get better. Um, so if you don't hear them playing, go encourage them, please, please, please. Practice should be recognizable, but sound hard at the same time. 
And we we always tell them start slow and work off, uh, work up. Uh, don't bite off more than you could chew at one time. So if you see him getting frustrated, just tell him slow down a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and keep practicing. But you know it should be a challenge. If they're practicing easy stuff that they could play really good, then they're not really getting better. Practice the hard stuff. Um, we also have sent out the band calendar. Uh, we have, extra, school. yeah, if you need an extra, let me know. Um, it's also, if you email me or Mr. C or we send an email, um, I have a link to the calendar direct link on my email. So just click a little calendar icon and you can find it, but it's got every date on there, all the events and performances. Football games. You want to talk about football games, Mr. Sure. C? Sure. Yeah. We participate in two football games this year. Um, the first one will be a 7th and 8th grade band football game where we will play it at 8th grade game. The 7th and 8th grade band members will all go out there. We will cheer on our team and we will perform. That happens on Tuesday, October 1st. And then we will also perform, and this is just the 8th grade only, at the Williams High School football game on Thursday, September 19th. Both of those games are really important and really fun. We also will be participating in the East Side Band Night with William, Williams Band's Plano East Bands, and all the cluster middle school bands on Wednesday, October 30th. This is a really fun show. Um, we will go out there and we will watch the other high schools and uh, senior highs do their marching band show and cheer them on. So please put those dates on your calendar and come out and support us on those days because it's a lot of fun. Yes, and we're always, always needing uh, some parent chaperones, Absolutely. volunteers. We'll send out links um super easy we we love to celebrate the kids and have fun with like a pizza tailgate mm -hmm. party uh, before we go in the stands and perform and everything so if that's something that interests you please email me or mr c and we'll get you on our chaperone list but um what'd you say many hands make light work many hands you know? make light work we'll have 170 kids with ourselves if we don't yep. volunteer so please, please help, help us, us. Yeah, help um sectionals um each band, well, at least symphonic and wind ensemble, and this is a statewide thing. Bands all across the state, middle school and high school. This is not out of the ordinary. We have a one sectional before or after school a week. This is mandatory. Um, it is part of their grade, uh, part of their grade for band. Uh, we will be testing, working on individual instrument skills during this time. Uh, students are getting their sectional time tonight, and then we'll hand out the schedules for those who can't make it tomorrow this is for symphonic and wind ensemble concert band will be doing their sectionals during class uh we'll be pulling out and doing stuff in there there's just not enough hours in the day but we have them during class and then symphonic and wind ensemble uh, we'll be pulling them once a week this is highly critical this is our only time that we can dive down to instrument specific things when it was when they were beginners they were together every day but in a band class, it's, it's a little mm -hmm. different. Um, sectionals will begin Monday, August 26th. Uh, that is the same day. Uh, that's this coming Monday. Uh, there's math testing that day, but we'll, we'll be reminding the kids. Morning sectionals um, are at from 7.20 until 8.20. So they have one hour sectional. Mm -hmm. Afternoon sectionals are 3.45 to 4.45. We really work hard to um, do our best to Avoid conflicts. Avoid conflicts. We work really well with the coaches. It's never an issue. Um, yeah. And here is our tentative schedule right now. Wind Ensemble's on top, um, and Symphonic Band is here below. Um, nothing Monday mornings. Uh, flutes, 345, 445. That's Symphonic and Wind Ensemble flutes after school starting on Monday, this Monday, 345, 445. All percussionists. And we'll be doing a lot of drumline heavy stuff coming up too. We got new drumline equipment coming Tuesday mornings. Um, you can see it right here, 7.20 to 8.20. We got percussion on Tuesdays, horn Wednesdays, low brass bassoon, and the infamous jazz band on Fridays. Percussion, trumpet, saxes for the symphonic band. And then after school, 3.45 to 4.45 below. If there's ever a conflict or doctor's appointment, or understand, we certainly understand, please let us know before especially you know it's really hard when we get all get up there at 7 20 and a, a, a kid or two is late mm -hmm. or no shows but we don't know uh but if you email us beforehand just let us know that's totally fine just please understand these are graded and we do chair tests and everything like that so um uh please make sure that they're there if you have any questions let me know um concerts you want to talk about all the fun concerts coming up for all grades all of our students will perform in concerts this year. Students will have three to five concerts this year, depending upon the grade of the student. 
Please check the calendar and help your students prepare for the concert. Concert attire. This is very, very important. Black is the concert attire for our concerts. The black band polo, black slacks, black shoes, and black socks. Please make sure we have black slacks, black shoes, and black socks. We don't like to have black jeans or sweatpants. We prefer black dress pants, black dress shoes, black tennis shoes that have lots of different colors on them really stand out. So please help your student now get their black shoes, black socks, and black pants. That's really important. Absolutely. Seventh and eighth grade field trips um, for seventh and eighth graders. We go on several trips throughout the year. Here's um, some of them. Six Flags. This letter is going to come out pretty soon. Uh, seventh and eighth grade um, only. It's going to be band orchestra and choir. We're going to Six Flags September 28th. Um, our annual amazing Epic Waters trip. Um, this one will be during the school day on Friday, December 13th. This one will perform, each band will perform, and then you'll have all day to play at the, the largest indoor water park in the state of Texas. It's so much fun. This will be our fourth year in a row going. It is a blast, don't miss out. And then our third annual trip to the Rangers game. Um, this year, we're going to see them play the Dodgers um, on April 19th. Um, we sat in, we've been sitting in the all you can eat uh, seats in left field. It's a great view. It's several kids catch home runs last year. It was awesome. Always in need of volunteers and chaperones for these events. Let us know if you're interested. We'll also have some movie nights around, maybe a video game night as well. But these are our big um, tent pole events throughout the year. Sixth grade, you also have some fun trips. Adventure Landing. Now, Adventure Landing, um, sixth graders know about already that form went home on Monday of this week. That money is due on September the 2nd. Um, yes, uh, September the 2nd. So please make sure that you turn that money in ASAP. $38 and that's only online. Kids will, it's on September 14th is when the trip is. Um, three hours unlimited, everything. It's a blast. Um, super fun. We're going to have a video game night for the sixth grade band members in November. Um, kids can bring their consoles and switches up and stuff like that. We have TVs and the projector and stuff. We'll have a good time. I look forward to beating them in Mario Kart and FIFA and everything. It'll be great. And then, of course, sixth grade is also included in our big Rangers trip. And we'll have a movie uh, movie evening in April after one of our rehearsals and stuff like that. Again, parents, chaperone, sixth grade, please help us. There's you know strength in numbers, as mm -hmm. they say, for adults. Absolutely. Chromebooks. Uh, we're going to be using, we used our Chromebooks today, actually, in class. Um, we use them almost every day, especially as you get older or, you know, with, we do surveys and assignments and um, recordings and things like that. They always need it. And I know um, the admin wants us to push mm -hmm. for the rest of the school too. please have your kid um, charge your Chromebook before bed. Make sure they just get in the habit plug their Chromebook in by their backpack by the front door every day. We've already had a couple kids, you know, instances of kids, my Chromebook's dead, but it's only first period. School mm -hmm. just started. Uh, you know, if, if you could help us out, that that would be great. Um, if you have any questions, again, you can email us. Um, we're, you know, super approachable and um, easygoing. Yeah. Um, as long as you just email us, um, one of us will get back to you really, really quick. Um, you know, wanted to yeah. thank you guys for being great parents. We have great kids. I mean, we've only been going about a week and I mean, they're doing great. I mean, yeah. it's, you can tell it's going to be a great year because they're all set up and ready to go and they're learning eagerly. So it's, it's going to be a great year. Yeah. Yeah. And the band's sounding good already. It's, it's, we're super excited about this year. Um, you know, again, if you could find us on Instagram, Bowman MS band or Facebook Bowman Raider band, um, we, um, we'll be posting a lot there and it's just gonna be a great year again thank you again for watching this uh, video and let us know if you have any questions thanks for joining us and hope to see you soon at bowman